In this video, we'll look at the different options available to you when you create a signing. Once you've created a signing and added documents and signers, click the Options button on the right-hand menu. Here are the signing options you can set up. The first option is Signing Details. Clicking on this tab allows you to edit the name prior to sending invitations. It's important to note that once invitations are sent, it's no longer possible to edit the name of the signing. Once the name is edited as desired, click Save. The second option is Expiration Dates. Clicking on this tab allows you to add an expiration date to your signing. This means that if the participants try to sign after the expiration date, they won't be able to because the link will have expired. However, it is important to note that by default, the expiration date is set to be in 29 days. If you do not choose an expiration date, it will be 29 days after sending the electronic signature. To set the expiration date, click on the calendar icon and choose a date. Once you're done, click Save. This option, of course, is optional. The third option, Reminders. If you want to send reminder emails after the first signing invitation email is sent by AuthentiSign, this is where you can set it up. Select Send Reminder Every to choose how often you want to send reminder emails and when. Once you're done, click Save. This is another optional feature. Option 4 is the position of the AuthentiSign ID. This option allows you to decide where the AuthentiSign ID number will appear. When the document is completed and signed, AuthentiSign automatically affixes an ID number, making the document authentic. If, for example, you want to have a document signed that was already signed through AuthentiSign, this option will be very helpful in deciding where to put the new ID number so that the two ID numbers are not overlapping. To choose where to place the ID number, select from the drop-down menu options and click Save. This is also optional. The fifth and final option, clear sign-in fields or markups. This option allows you to delete everything you have added to your document, whether it's signature blocks or markup. You can either clear signing fields or clear markups, or click on both buttons to clear everything.